detecting virus protein in real time. It will be a game changer, letting you know whether or not you have the virus in a matter of minutes. If we can to test the virus infection at the point of care, so that you actually can uh, immediately know whether the person is uh, uh, infected or not at the time that you basically collect the sample. Which means the person needs to be isolated in case the test is positive, but it would end up reducing lag time in labs across the state. It has several advantages of this technology, um, although hopefully it's proven tr proven work workable because uh, uh, you never know, it's a basic research that takes time and, and where they will be commercialized. Uh, but anyway, that general idea is hopefully uh, if not for this pandemic, but maybe for the next pandemic. But it's very complicated, and Feng Ding says he's still in the beginning of their research. We use that to actually design uh, a, a piece of DNA sequences that actually can recognize uh, uh, the spike protein. And upon recognized spike protein, they actually they can change the shape. So that's actually what we do. They plan to start testing the method soon. Then the plan is to work with doctors in testing real COVID samples that have come from the community. So we have some promising result. Uh, we, we do find that the design, uh, uh, the, the sequence actually, that is called optimer, actually is DNA based optimer. It's not, so this one is almost like antibody. It can recognize uh, a target. And the idea still is in the development stages, but ideally, he says the device will be small and portable for easy transportation. Reporting live, Kayla Convoy, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.